What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory episode where last time we started placing down all the oil extractors and extracting all the oil from the north side of the map. Then they all merged together to come down these Mark 1 pipes and yes they do need to be upgraded to Mark 2 for future purposes. Which then makes its way to the oil rig where we're going to be doing a lot of things. But last time, because what we was building, we was very, very limited because we don't have heavy modular frames and computers. But we did get plastic being made and also rubber being made so we can advance in our milestones. So remember, if you're enjoying the content, please remember to like and subscribe to see more. But the first thing we need to crack on with today is we are going to be looking at hard drives and we have one right here at the side of the location but if, if you do remember we did remove the hogs because we collected some of the stuff that spawn around it and if we look inside this one this only requires frames and we've got quite a few of them so let's open that up let's unlock the hard drive pull that out and then let's take that to the mam so let's quickly put one of them down and place you just here Head inside, and if we've got a hard drive up at the top, and then now we can see that we've got one of one. Click scan. It's going to take 10 minutes, and then it was, it's going to give us three alternate recipes. And there we go. Hard drive now complete. On screen, you can see we have three alternate recipes. Fuse quickwire, heavy oil residue, and polymer resin. And you must be asking, Bits, which one would I choose? And if I was to have this option, why would I choose it? So we can see fuse, quickwire, heavy oil residue, and polymer resin. And you have to take this into consideration for your own builds. All right. So not every recipe is going to be designed for your playthrough. But it just depends on what your end goal is. For me, I like to mass build. So I want to build on the biggest scale possible because that's me as a satisfactory player. So like... My recipes might not be yours, but take these into consideration, okay? So we have Fuse Quickwire. This is going to use 7.5 uh, Caterium ingots as well as 37.5 Copper ingots into your uh, assembler, which is then going to output uh, 90 per minute on your Quickwire. Then we have Heavy Oil Residue, which is going to take on your input side 30 Crude Oil, which is going to output 40 heavy oil residue and also 20 resin. And then we have polymer resin, which is going to input 60 crude oil, which is going to output 130 resin and also 20 residue oil as well. So with all that being said, what option would I choose? I would choose the heavy oil residue. And you must be uh, wondering why would I choose that? Reason being is it takes in 30 oil per minute outputs 40 residue oil and also outputs 20 residue one this doubles any uh, form of uh, residue oil we're going to need for fuel but it's also given us the polymer resin which is very flexible into products it can make so if i just quickly put down a refinery and if we look at the recipes that uh, produce uh, residue oil we can see here we have plastic and we also have rubber um, so if we go into this one it, we can see that it requires 30 crude oil per minute to make 10 residue oil. This new recipe we're looking at is going to give us 40. It's going to give us 40, right? But it's also going to give us 20 plastic, this recipe right here. But it's forcing us to make plastic. And it's the same with this one. Rubber over here is taking in the same amount of crude oil from the new recipe we're going to choose. But it's outputting 20 this time. And we're going to be making 40 with the new one. But this is forcing us to use rubber. So with resin coming out of this new recipe right here, what can be done with this? Well, resin, if you look inside here, can actually be used to make plastic in here. As you can see, 60 polymer resin per minute. And in rubber, 40 resin per minute. So it's, it's, be, it's allowing us to be a bit more flexible with what we want to build. So then... When we put down our lines of refineries, we can just send all the resin to one new factory, which could either make plastic or rubber, depending on what we want as a demand. Hopefully that makes sense, and I did not overwhelm you with a little bit of information there. So we're going to choose that one, and as we can see now, it's now accepted. If we put down the refinery again, we can see the new recipe, which is alternate heavy oil residue. And everything that is alternate will come up in here. 
right? Oh! Hell to the year! Diluting package fuel. Oh boy. Oh boy. Confirm. We definitely need that. That was a beautiful pickup because that's going to help me so much, especially for like the next episode where we're more than likely going to be building like the um, more of the oil rig and trains because that's what I want to kind of get working on. But I'm working on heavy modular frames at the minute and I've just literally just gone around and got loads of hard drive. As you can see here, we're currently sitting on 27 hard drives. Um, and yeah, because I didn't want to take you on that whole journey because that'd be most of the episode done. Uh, but I've got a lot of hard drives and we're going to put them all in. We're going to put them all in and hopefully we can get some because this is probably going to be a long recording session for me because like um, it's taking 10 minutes for each of these. I could if I wanted to. And I think I'm going to leave it to you guys. Um, leave it in the comments if you want me to unlock all the alternate recipes just straight off the bat. Because um, it's going to kind of save me a lot of time. Uh, I can just do that. I can just go, okay, I can, I'm going to unlock all the alternate recipes. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be constantly running back and forward here, taking time out the recording time to actually keep scanning these and then waiting 10 minutes, coming back, scanning, and all that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments if you want me to skip all the alternate recipes or you want me to just kind of do what you normally do and just kind of scan them. Uh, but yeah, let me get back to uh, planning on what I wanted to do with these heavy modular frames. Okay, so I've kind of come up with a little bit of a solution. So what I've done is I've stripped the roof off on the storage facility because if we look at a heavy modular frame uh, recipe, it requires uh, 10 modular frames per minute, 30 steel pipes per minute, 10 encased industrial beams per minute, and 200 screws. My only issues right now is screws because I don't really want to be making screws. Uh, unless I get the steel beam alternate recipe uh, where I can use steel beams and create screws that way. Uh, but I don't have that unlocked yet. But um, we have all of this actually downstairs in here. So what I'm thinking about doing is coming down here. Um, let, me, let me out of here real quick. And you. So in here, what I'm thinking about doing is is so uh, the in case of industrial beams is if we just remove these two windows grab ourselves some windows from here and then bring that up there and then grab ourselves a lift uh, and connect that to there and there that is then going to output the in case industrial beams above the storage container and then if we actually go above uh well back up where we was let me just get some ladders up there uh, and then uh, bring that across here. We've got a hole here. Let's just put a floor hole there. Then grab ourselves a lift again. And that actually... Oh, well, if I put it the right way first, Bitsy. If we put the lift here, flip that. And then connect that up with a Mark 1 belt into there. Then the encased industrial beams are going to come across. Go up the lift and then go up onto the floor that I've just removed the ceiling from. So we can actually put our manufacturers up there and then we don't need to reroute everything in this building and merge or split things off because we can just build it up here. Uh, and then if we pull all the items behind this, what I could do, can I make any, um, can I make some glass real quick? Uh, I can, but I'm very short on silica. So for example, we could kind of go with something on the lines of this so we can it's like a glass uh wall here um and then we can put like our manufacturer down say around over here ish let's let's just say there and then we can bring the belts from there uh from the in case industrial beams pipes and frames but we need to get screws, and that's going to be a pain because I don't really want to... Either my options are is to go and try and get some more iron, make screws, and then distribute them here. Or the best benefit would be to actually uh, get it in a hard drive uh, with a screws, uh, with the steel screws. Uh, because all we need then is five steel beams, which will make 260 screws per minute, which will be very beneficial. Um, 
And yeah, we just don't have it yet. So let's kind of work this out. And actually, have I got a... I think I've got a hard drive going, haven't I? Have I got a hard drive going? I think I've got a hard drive going. I think. I think. Uh, oh! <laughs> What's the chances of that? Steel screws. Confirm. <laughs> oh, we've just hit the bloody nail on the head with that one. Oh, my God. Thank you, gods. Thank you. Oh, God. That oh, oh, man. I've gone all sweaty now. Jesus. Jesus. That, that has saved me a lot. Because now I can put a constructor down. Um, go in here and we can make steel beam. Not steel beam, sorry. Uh, steel screws. Which five steel beams can go into 260 screws. And then the screws can come into here. Which does require 200 screws per minute. With an excess of 60. Now I can bring steel beams up from underneath here. That's all four items coming up. Three can go straight to the manufacturer. The steel beams can come straight to the constructor. The constructor output can go straight to the manufacturer. And bada bing, bada boom, we have heavy modular frames. So let's do that. Okay, so the screws have been... That kind of baffles me every time I come through here. Look. <laughs> but yeah, we've done some work on the um, heavy modular frames. Uh, we have now got it up and running. I am now collecting it. And we've also added a doorway here to the stairs, which lead up onto the second floor, which comes out onto this balcony, which then takes us into this room, which is above the storage. So now we've got heavy modular frames. We've got a bit of a glass roof going on, a bit of a thing up there. With we might utilize it at some point uh, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you can see all the items are coming along here. Uh, we've got this, the constructor here. And then the three holes for the in case of beams, pipes, and frames. And then the screws going in. Uh, and then everything's fine and dandy. And we're actually making um, heavy modular frames. That is then going under the floor. Uh, and then if we go back downstairs, head into the storage room. I've now put a little bit of an extension on to the end, which is this one over here, uh, which is heavy modular frames. And... This used to be, used to be a double-wide room, which I've now just kind of cut off and made it like everything else. And now we've got heavy modular frames coming in here. Look, 71 modular frames. So that means we can go over to our hub and actually unlock alternate fluid transport. Meaning we can unlock the packages, we can then package water, we can unpackage items as well. So anything that is bottled or in a canister, we can actually unpackage. But this means we can also make packaged fuel. And if you remember, at uh, the beginning of the episode, we actually unlocked diluted packaged fuel, which is a lot cheaper and a lot more convenient for us for when we go and do mega power. But also fuel for our jetpack. But for our jetpack, we actually need 50 packaged fuel fuel so what i'm going to do is we're going to unlock the alternate fluid transport select the milestone put everything in send it off bada bim bada bum then we need to head over to the oil rig because if you remember last time we actually put down these refineries that are now being um outputting fuel but these fuel are now going to these containers right and because these are in containers, these are going to get full. And once they get full, they're actually going to back up this machine. And once this machine backs up, it's going to not output the fuel, which then is going to store heavy oil residue. And when heavy oil residue has nowhere to go, it's going to back these up. So it's all a bit of a kerfuffle. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove these. We're going to replace these with packages. And then we're going to... Oh, well, let's see. Can I put down a packager real quick? Packager. I can. Place that down. And we're going to make packaged fuel. So as you can see here, we're going to need 40 uh, fuel. And we're, uh, we're going to need 40 canisters. And canisters are actually made from... Oh, damn it. I need a reinforced plate. Balls. Okay, plates. <laughs> okay, plates acquired. Let's get a constructor down. And then, if we look in here, we can go down to the bottom and we can see empty canisters. And empty canisters are made from plastic. And funny enough, we are making plastic and storing it. And we have excess for now until we actually use the alternate um, heavy residue oil, which we unlocked at the beginning of the episode as well. Um, 
to which the resin of that will go and make plastic. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to divert some of this plastic into some constructors to make canisters. We're then going to swap out these uh, fluid buffers here, replace them with packages. The fuel is then going to go into a packager with the canisters that's coming out of the constructors to make that. And then we have a cycle, which then does mean the fuel is going to get used and won't get backed up. So this can continuously be made. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the pipes and these uh, fluid buffers. Remove them and these pipes as well. Then we're going to grab ourselves a constructor. We're going to place this. Um, let's place it duh, 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 like in the middle here, I suppose. Uh, and then we don't technically need to use all of this plastic. We only need to kind of do a little bit. So what I'm going to do is... Where is that coming off there? Is that actually in the way? I believe it is. So maybe... Can I push that up one more? I don't think I can. I can't. Okay, so let's put that back in the middle. Let's um, change this up a tiny bit. Let's go into here. Grab ourselves a, a smart splitter. Oh, damn an AI limiter. Handcraft an AI limiter. I may as well make two in case I need another one. Get myself a smart splitter. Place you this way. Like there. We're gonna... Wait, is that a smart splitter? Wait, did I just put a normal splitter down? Hello? I did. Wow, idiot bits. Idiot. Idiota. Uh, right, we're gonna make sure we send plastic. And then center, we're gonna do overflow. So the overflow's gonna go onwards. We're just going to shift that through there on a Mark III belt. And then you need to receive, um, if I'm not mistaken, 30 plastic per minute. So we're just going to put this on a Mark I belt and send that directly. Oh, that's not straight and I don't like it. That's not straight and I don't like it. We're changing this. I need to change this because it's going to do my bloody nothing. Um, we're going to change it to this way. Uh, where's my constructor gone? Am I just being... Where am I? Hello? Oh, I was up here. Um, okay, so that's coming down on the middle line there. So let's kind of just mix this up a little bit. Can I put on a mark one into there now? I can. So that's going into there. That means plastics are going to there. That's going to mean constructor is going to need to be canisters. Canisters are then going to come out uh, out of here. Um, and we need to line this up as well. Um, so you're going to be making me 6.6666, right? right? Yeah. It is going to back up. We're not going for like 100% efficiency. Um, but what we are going to do is now we're going to put down a packager. Uh, we are going to put that down into, uh, we could say here. Uh, like so. I don't, I don't know. I don't like this where this is going. Um, let's kind of put this straight on, I suppose, then. Uh, so here. It can, just, it can just be a direct feed. Yeah, 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 yeah. It can be a direct feed. Um, then we'll put a Mark 1 into there because you're going to be outputting 60 per minute. You're going to need package fuel, uh, 40 canisters per minute. So we're going to actually be making more than we should do. And you're requiring 40 fuel to come in. We're making 6666. 6666. I don't know how many sixes are in there, but we're making that many. Um, then we need to get our pipe. We need to bring that pipe around uh, into here. And shift this here as well. And then around. Uh, to there, and then we're going to start bringing it up into here, and then, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I need to move this by, is it by one? I think I need to move it by one. I think it is by one. Okay, let's remove that then, and then connect that back up into there, get my paintbrush, and swatch these to orange, because why? It's, it's sending out fuel, not residue. So that's going into there. You're going into there. You're now going to make package fuel. You're going to receive the canisters. You're going to get diverted off. Uh, and now we just need to connect these up with power. So we're going to grab that power pole there. Connect you up. And then bam. And bam. Now we should... Be ma Actually, no, I need to connect that up there, don't I? Oh, no, that needs to be a Mark... <gasps> no, that needs to be a Mark III! Ah, oh, you son of a gun. That's the only thing about uh, the issue about putting splitters super close like that is you, once you put a belt in in there. Wait, is that a smart that one? Uh, once you put a belt in there like that, you can't. You have to remove the actual splitter. 
So, okay, so let's put a three in there. Uh, three along there. And then a Mark 1 coming out of the machine. Now... Oh, God. You can already see the canisters coming out, which is cool. And that is already receiving the package fuel. And we only need 50 to unlock the jetpack. Center. I want you to be uh, packaged fuel. And that should stop sending in stuff that way. Cool. So now you're going to store. And then we need to get you powered, which your power connector is on this side. And all I need to do is just put a power pole here. And just connect you up to there. Right. Now you're connected. That's that done. We're receiving package fuel. We've got 92. That means now we can head back and go and unlock uh, the jetpack. So we can go into the hub. Go into tier 6, go into jetpack, and balabing, balabosh. I will get you guys saying that at one point. And launch that off. So now we've unlocked the jetpack. But what do we need for it? And if I'm not mistaken, I think we need a computer. I actually think we need a computer. Please tell me we don't need a computer. Please, 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 please. <sighs> we need circuit boards. We need circuit boards, which, technically, I can just make by hand. Because all it needs is copper sheets and plastic. And then we've got the jetpack. And then we can fly around. So let's get some copper sheets. We've got some plastic. That means I can go into here, go into craft bench, grab this, go down here. Was it circuit boards I needed? Oh, wait. Was it circuit boards? Circuit boards? It was circuit boards. Me and my fish brain. Make 15 of you, and luckily we can make up to 16. Then get these completed. Then we can build the jetpack. Oh my god, I've missed this so much. You don't realize how much I've gone from like the Twitch satisfactory playthrough to playing this one. Like, and I'm, I come I come over here, I'm building something. I go to jump off here. Luckily, there's water below. But me thinking is I've got a jetpack and I can hover. I'm like, oh my my days. Right, so now we've got this, we can equip this, and now we can fly around. Oh, oh I've missed this. You don't realize how much I've missed the jetpack because I don't even use the hover pack. I honestly don't use it. I don't know why. I'm just accustomed to using the jetpack and all that kind of stuff. And it also means we can go through here and actually land on the oil rig. Well, actually, we're not going to make it, but I can switch over. And I'm going to fail this, I think. No. I don't need to climb up here anymore on the bloody ladder. Um, I can just fly over here now. Which makes it so much better. And if you want to know how to do the hypertubes, make sure you check out my hypertube video. And also check out my other satisfaction content. Because that is going to be it for this episode. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And keep smiling. Bye-bye.